my wife and I are pragmatic minimalists. By that I mean like it's not a lifestyle for us, it's not a real ideology, we're not on the like 100 things, there's not the first anything wrong with that, we're just moderate people. And we figured out a trick um, to really help us, you know, stay where we need to be with our stuff. And it's to go home. Because my dad is a jumper. Um, have you ever seen Sanford and Son? <laughs> my dad is Sanford. <laughs> Her dad is a collector, um, and also overconsumption. He loves to go to Walmart and just buy stuff. It's on sale, he buys it. And so we'll go home and it's like, hey, there's like three TVs in the back that we've had brand new in a box for four years. I'm like, stop. One, doing that. But two, electronics, seriously? You got a four-year-old TV? We're 25 bucks now. <laughs> and so it's really funny because we'll go back to Arkansas where they live. And then we'll come home, and then there's like this purge that happens. Yeah. <laughs> because we see what happens when you don't make this. So that, that's just one of those things that we do is like, um, we'll go home. Well, it's been a while since we've been in Arkansas, so we might have to do that. But we also have the, um, about once a quarter, we'll go through and do a purge too. What are we not wearing? Um, and interestingly, when I, when I was 18 um, and we were moving into college together, there was this big box huge, huge box that had a bunch of shoes in it, Evangelist, right? It had like 54 pairs of shoes or something crazy. <laughs> and I was carrying this thing, and you know, the first time you meet a partner is the first time you really like, and like live with a partner is the first time you really realize their stuff patterns. Because when you're dating or when you're living separately, like you don't really pay so much attention, but when you have to put all of your stuff together, that's where you have a lot of nice conversations. <laughs> <laughs> And I was carrying this big ass box up four flights of stairs <laughs> because that's what you do, right? <laughs> but I set it down. I was like, okay, new rule, 25. You get 25 pairs of shoes. <laughs> that seems reasonable, right? We talked about it. It's like I will carry 25 pairs of shoes for you. We can make room for 25. But the rule is, one comes in, one goes out, right? Um, she hates when I tell that story because I've used it in my work on productivity because the same thing with projects, right? One comes in, one's got to go out. Otherwise, you get project clutter. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to share those two things that like, you know, I, I think it's sometimes when you're not on the uh, more extreme side of minimalism, just to find those catalytic moments and those triggers, they really remind you, like, wait a second, it's time to get rid of some stuff. Um, and then schedule those, because otherwise, like, having screwed in, we live in a work in something society. And so, there we go. And it's fun having parents that are jumpers, right? One is just like, he has every vehicle he's owned since 1965. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there with stuff in it. <laughs> and stuff under the stuff. I don't know. And he knows where everything is. I'm like, Dad, that's a lot of mental clutter. But anyways, and then we have Angel's dad that has every coin, every baseball card, every random knickknack, few slot machines, all sorts of weird stuff. And it's like, yeah, that's where it goes. All right, that's what's happening.